Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make air clay. You will need, this is just PVA glue, this is a big litre bottle but you're only going to need about 200 mils. You're, you're not going to need a lot of this. This recipe is very much you bun it in the bowl and stir it around. So you're going to need some PVA glue. This is just really cheap stuff. It only costs about one seventy-five for this big bottle. I'm not even going to use a quarter of it. So you need your PVA glue. You're going to need about a dessert spoonful of oil. Now this is just your regular sunflower oil. This will just keep it soft so it doesn't stick everywhere. Corn flour. In the USA it's called corn starch. It's the same thing. So we're only going to use half the packet of that. You're going to need a glass bowl or a bowl, anything, and an old spoon of some sort. Now it's really, really easy this. My sister Sandra showed me how to do this. I've just got a pair of scissors to open this up. Now it's up to you how much of this you make. You can make a lot or you can make a little. It's up to you. Now, just put about half the box into the bowl. Now, there's 250 grams in this. So, this is about 125 grams. Just half of it. So, I'm going to put that aside because we'll need some to help to knead it out. Now into this, so I've got my glue, now this is just cheap PVA glue, any cheap PVA glue will do for this. And I'm just going to dollop it in, and just drop that into your bowl, and that will do. Now it's really, really quick, really, really easy. Get your oil, get yourself a spoon, and put just a little of the oil into your mix. Just a little tad more. You can always add more flour. If your mixture's too wet, you can add more flour. Now all you have to do now is just mix it together. Just mix it together until it becomes like a dough. You can add more glue if you have to. So just keep mixing it together until it becomes like dough. Now you will get quite a lot from it. Now that is just your grease proof baking paper. This is the stuff that goes in the oven and stops your biscuits and cakes from sticking. So don't use wax paper. Now pop your dough or your clay onto here. Oh it looks like tea. Okay. Now you may need some more of your corn flour just to help it along a little bit. Now all you need to do is a little tip, take any rings off. If you've got any rings on then take them off. Now all you have to do is just knead it. Just knead it like this until it's nice and smooth and it doesn't stick to your fingers. So knead it until it's smooth. It's very therapeutic. Though.
And the bits are falling off are just the little bits from my fingers. I'm going to scoot that down here. Because I'm going to move this paper. That's it done. That's it basically done. Now if you feel it's just a little bit dry on the outside, just get a tiny, tiny amount of oil. Just a tiny amount. And then just rub it, squish it in. Now, the cornstarch was only 45 pence. The amount of glue didn't even come to a pound, the amount of glue that I used, not at all. So, I actually made all this, I would say, for about a pound. Not even a pound. Or This is so cheap to make. Cornstarch or corn flour in the UK. A little bit of oil. You can use baby oil if you don't have household oil and some PBA glue. That is all it takes to make this. Now, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I'm up to 40,000 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you all very, very much for that. Thank you for all the people who've taken a few extra minutes to subscribe. All you need is a Gmail address and that's free. And it's free to subscribe to the channel as well. And also, thank you, just thank you to everyone who just watches the channel as well. But I really would appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button that's right there. It's red and it says subscribe. <laughs> Come on, help me to get up to 100,000 subscribers so I can get a YouTube play button and then beyond and after that we will go on and we will get some of the other YouTube play buttons that are available and we'll keep on passing anyway. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Join me for the next tutorial. I'm going to show you something to make for this. Now it wouldn't be a craft channel if I didn't make something with this now would it? So come and join me for that. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.